In this video, I am going to be talking about how much money I make on YouTube, how much money I could potentially make, and how much money gaming or Counter-Strike YouTubers make on average. The reason I am making this video is because I don't mind being transparent with you guys on my channel. I have been in the Counter-Strike global offensive scene myself for a very long time, so I do think I can give you guys some fair and good averages. I saw a video like this one in my recommended feed and I thought, hey, people love this, it's probably going to get some views which might get me some money, so why not make the video? I do want to mention that the gaming industry on YouTube is a very low CPM earning community. However, Counter-Strike YouTubers are able to get some pretty sweet sponsorships within this community, which I'll also be talking about in this video. A sponsorship is also how I make the most money off my YouTube channel in Counter-Strike because my CPM is almost non-existent. So today's video is actually sponsored by my own project, BetRefs. If you have not heard of BetRefs yet, it is a super easy concept. It's just a website that lists other websites where you can use our codes on their website so you can get some free money. I do want to mention that all of the money that we make off our dad drop stats will be going towards the Australian wildfires for one month straight. So consider checking out the website. It helps me out and it also helps out the Australian wildfires at the same time. Now that was a 25 to a 30 second advertisement and I'll be also going over how much that is worth in the Counter-Strike community. First, I'm going to be talking about the ad revenue that I have made on my channel. As I said earlier, the CPM you make on Counter-Strike videos is actually really low. As a matter of fact because of the game's popularity, going full time of CSGO ad revenue is almost impossible. These are the stats that I've gotten over the past 31 days. This includes December which is a really good month for ad revenue. As you can see I've got around 3 million views and about $1700 in ad revenue which to me is actually quite sad. It is often taken as a fact that whenever you're making YouTube videos, you earn around a dollar for a thousand views that you get on a video. If you look at my stats, you can see that I earn around 56 cents per thousand views on my videos. And this is in December where advertisers pay the highest price to get their advertisements on videos. Also something quite important is that all of the videos that I've been uploading daily were over 10 minutes, which seven of them were at the end of December. What it means to make your videos over 10 minutes long is that you're able to put infinite amounts of advertisements on the videos. Now I personally put three advertisements in the middle of the video and one at the beginning. When you don't make your video 10 minutes long, you can't have mid-roll ads, which are the ads that I place in the middle of the video, but only have an ad at the beginning of the video and the end of the video. I notice I'm talking a little fast again. It just sometimes happens when I get frustrated about a subject. So that is basically what a prime month looks like for me when it comes down to YouTube ad revenue only. I'm pretty sure most of you guys really want to see what I've made in total of my YouTube ad revenue. So let's go take a look at that. That, that, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck's going on with my voice, dude? $29,334.62 for a total of 46.9 million views. This isn't too bad. Um, somehow there is a little blackout area where YouTube doesn't show what income I've made from a certain time. So it's probably incorrect and there's a few thousand dollars left out. But $29,000 is the total amount of money that my YouTube channel has generated from YouTube views alone. So that is it for the YouTube ad revenue. Now it is time to talk about the big money. Big with the red B emoji. So when it comes to sponsorship deals, there's a lot of ways YouTubers can make money. And especially in the CSGO scene, it is not uncommon to put a pre-roll in front of your videos. So these are the most common ways YouTubers sell advertisements manually. You have pre-rolls, integrations, full videos, social media posts, and live streams. I'm going to be covering the prices of each, so let's start with the pre-rolls. A pre-roll is a short advertisement shown at the start of a video anywhere between 5 to 45 seconds. The price for these pre-rolls is about 5 to 10 dollars CPM. Now if you're an established YouTuber, meaning that you have a connection with the website and you've done work with them before, this price can actually go up. Let's take the average of 7 dollars and 50 cents for a thousand views. When my videos get a hundred thousand views on average, meaning that I could sell a pre-roll for about $750 per video. The most that I've personally sold a pre-roll for is about $1,500 on a video when my videos were averaging about 200,000 views a video. So yeah, that's about the max that I've sold a pre-roll for. Let's talk about integrations because these are the things that are going to be making you a lot of money as a YouTuber. An integration is basically a pre-roll in the video, but instead of it being maximum 30 to 45 seconds, it is a minute or two minutes long. So when the time of the advertisement is doubled, so is the price or even tripled. Meaning that if you get around 100,000 views on a video, you can charge up to 15 to $20 per thousand views for an advertisement of a minute length. When the advertisement is about two minutes long, you can actually charge 25 to $30 per thousand views. So if I were to upload daily, 
and my videos get around 100,000 views on average, I could be making $23,250 a month just by selling pre-rolls on my videos. Now I'm taking the average price of $7.50 per thousand views, which are beginner numbers. As I said earlier, I've been in the scene for a longer time and therefore I have a good relationship with most of the websites that I work with. Also, the results that the websites get from my advertisements prove to be worth more than $7.50 per thousand views. Therefore, my pre-roll price has increased a little bit towards the $10, $12 range. Also, I don't like to sell out in every video because it is selling out at the end of the day and it is against my ethical standpoints because I want to deliver quality and I don't want to sell out in every video because it just takes away from the video quality. Now let's say, and this is actually pretty interesting, if I were to sell a 2 minute integration in every single video for a month straight, how much money would I be making? And I'm not gonna lie dude, this is the first time I'm calculating it, I haven't even calculated it yet right now, I'm just talking. And it's, it's going to be a scary number. So let's take a look at it. So what I would be charging for a two minute pre-roll on 100,000 views average would be about $3,000. So what I do is 3,000 times 31. Oh my God. Yeah, $93,000. Now, just to mention, I'll never do this because two minutes of advertisements in every video for a month straight, I'd rather kill myself than put that much advertisements in my videos. However, you should check out betrefs.com, my own project, you know, hey. Hey, just, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, a full video on a website is the highest paying in this bracket, so let's talk about them. I haven't done a full video in a very long time, but if I were to do one right now, my price for a full video on a gambling website or a CSGO website would be about five to $7,000. The price is this high because it is purely against my morals and it's not really something that I'm comfortable with putting out. Now, I do know that some of you guys actually enjoy watching a gambling video because it is just really exciting to see someone open cases, for example. It is just something that I'm not comfortable with doing because it is basically a whole advertisement dedicated towards one website. I'm not saying I'll never do a full video on a website because it is, it is a lot of money and if I could do one of these videos a month and therefore skip a lot of pre-rolls in my videos, I think that overall improves the quality of my videos. Now, something super interesting I want to mention is that when you're making a video or a pre-roll or an integration for a gambling website, for example, you usually have people use your code on their website. So when people deposit money on the website and they have used your code, you usually get a percentage of the money the user has deposited on the website. To show you guys a very popular website as an example, datdrop.com. 19,312 people have used code MATCS on datdrop.com and while people were using my code MATCS, almost $120,000 was deposited. I get 10% of the money someone deposits on the website, so therefore I make $10 out of $100 everyone deposits. Websites usually have a leveling up system for someone who is promoting a code, that whenever there's more money deposited on a code, the higher your percentage gets of of what money you make of what someone deposits. So out of a $120,000 deposited, it's safe to say I made about eight to $10,000 of that drop affiliates. Now I'm not a gambling YouTuber and I've only made two videos on this website, which were about a year ago. So the amount of money gambling YouTubers make off their affiliates is actually insane. And this is probably what they'll make the most money out of. So what about the money you can make off social media posts or live streams? I personally don't have much experience with either, but I'm going to give you some rough estimates. When a website wants to do a giveaway with me, I'll usually charge about $50 for a giveaway post. I'll charge nothing if I've worked with the website before and my followers are familiar with the product I'm promoting. I currently have around 50,000 followers on Twitter and I get around 10,000 impressions per tweet. On a giveaway, of course, this reach will be significantly higher because people are going to be retweeting it and therefore my reach is increased and also I can charge more money but I don't because I don't feel like charging money for a giveaway. When I used to live stream on YouTube, I'd also live stream on gambling websites and therefore I charged about $200 to $400 for 30 minutes. So when you take the average of $300 on a two hour live stream, that's actually $1,200 per live stream. And if you live stream daily, that adds up, $37,200 monthly to be exact. When I used to live stream on YouTube, my averages were about 200 to 300 live viewers. Now that I've started streaming on Twitch instead of YouTube, I don't do any gambling anymore. However, I know you can make a lot of money of banners and advertisements in the description of your Twitch panel. I don't have any experience with selling those advertisements because I've never done that before. So I guess that actually wraps it up for today's video. I talked about most of the things I wanted to talk about and most of the things I knew about. Now, that you know how much money you could potentially make of being a CSGO YouTuber, maybe I should make a video on how to become a CSGO YouTuber. 
Let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll make the video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Peace.